Hi and welcome to this week's video. So this week I've picked myself up another faulty Nintendo Switch. As you can see condition wise on this one is really good. It comes with the kickstand. Open it up and then I've got a little game, nice surprise. And unfortunately it's brats, so nothing decent. So it cost £39. The description, there wasn't really much to it. So it takes a charge. So what happens is you will turn the console on, it will get to the Nintendo logo, and then it switches itself off. I currently have a flat battery on it, but I've had it on full charge, and I know that it's not a battery issue. So I'll just use my iFixit Precision Toolkit to open it up. So we just have a little look in, and then first out we'll get the tri-wing bit to be able to take out the four tri-wing screws on the back. Then we just need to flip over to the Phillips head screwdriver to take out the remaining screws and the screws in the back heat shield. Then we can peel the back off and then we can have a little look. So we take the battery out. So I'm just going to double check by putting a new battery in that it isn't a battery issue. So we get the Nintendo logo and then it goes off and then nothing comes on the screen. Completely dead. It just turns on and off. So past experience to me is this is normally a faulty Wi-Fi chip but sometimes we can kick it back into life by using a mod chip. So we just need to take the heat shield off. So we just get a pin inside just to bend out the little tabs very carefully. We need to do a few around the edge and then we can prise it up and then flick it off. And then just need to give a little bit of clean of the old thermal paste. So we can see the caps that we need to solder to. So it's a V1, so we're just going to put the ribbon cable that needs to be soldered into. And then we get the iron and we just need to solder the caps to these two bits. So just keep adding solder and then if you need to add a little bit more flux do so. And then we'll just do the other side. So we just add more flux and then we get a nice solder and then solder either side of the cap. I normally set my solder iron at around about 360C. So make sure that you've got good contacts and then once you're happy, give it a bit of a clean, get rid of all the excess flux, use an isopropyl alcohol, dab the rest away. And then you just need to take off the NAND chip Put the cover back on and then attach the NAND chip to the mod chip. Connect the ribbon cable and then we just connect it to the board. You just need to add an SD card with some custom firmware on it. Put something in so we don't get any shorts. Plug in the battery, we'll turn it on. Then we just need to go to launch and then we click on the semi stock option and then we get the Nintendo logo and then we get the Switch logo which we ain't getting before and then fingers crossed it carries on which it does and now we've got a booting Nintendo Switch which we didn't have before. So we can just have a little look, we press some of the buttons, check if it's still working which it is. So now we can turn it off. So in theory now it should be fixed. So we disconnect the mod chip. So we take the connection out. We take the ribbon cable out. And then we put the NAND chip back in. I'm just going to have to use a, an external battery. Because the battery on this one is currently flat. And then we'll turn it back on and we get the Nintendo logo. We get the Nintendo Switch logo. 
and then we get a boot in Nintendo Switch. So everything seems to be working as you'd expect, so we'll just quickly check the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth to make sure that works, as this is what could have been the initial issue. And I'll just type in my password, and then after a couple of seconds, as you can see, we're now connected to the Wi-Fi, and now we've got our fully working Nintendo Switch. So it's all back together and as you can see really good condition so I think I've done well with this one fully working joy cons work it works docked everything that you'd expect and as I said before mod chips aren't all that bad they do have some other positives like fixing broken consoles that are stuck in a bit of a Wi-Fi loop and then the other little extra bonus I noticed as I was getting ready to finish the video is the front got an ice cream protector on. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.